All right, so I think to nobody's surprise, we are back to Hades. I cannot believe how much I played this game. It has been like a hundred hours. It's crazy. I I never play games for this long. So I did look some stuff up because it is taking me way too long Let's to go. do these favors. So I did look some stuff up. I think what I'm doing wrong with Zeus is I need to get a boon from him first and then get other gods boons and then for these other ones i think all i have to do is talk to them for aphrodite's um oh and hermes i have to max out his keepsake for aphrodite's i think i have to there's like romanceable characters or whatever and i need to max out relationships with them or romance them i don't know i don't e i didn't even realize there were romanceable characters no you call this shouting? This is not shouting, boy. This is merely having certain expectations which you have not met. Now, try once again. Okay. I will. Lord Zeus. Far be it for me to raise my hand against your father, dear nephew. Although I do suppose old Hades has it coming, doesn't he? Lord Zeus. So I think in order to be the most efficient about this, I have a Zeus boon. So what I read was that you need to hear at least five gods opinion on opinions on Zeus. So let's go Aphrodite, which means that you need to have because sometimes the gods like when you get a boon from the gods, they'll comment on the boon that you have. They'll be like, oh, so you got Zeus's blessing, huh? Lady Aphrodite. Lord Zeus has made acquaintances with Okay, there we go. Oh, I sometimes forget that he's your uncle. His favor's well worth having, I assure you. But I'm pretty sure I've done at least some of this. And then at the same time, we can try to just like for Dionysus and Ares and Artemis, we can just try to get some of their dialogue that will let us unlock their heart. Because really, they're, it's just random. Like with for those three, it's just random if you get the dialogue that will unlock their heart, which is really dumb. I have grown closer than expected with the goddess Nyx in all of this, cousin. It is quite evident to me how much she cares for you. I must admit I envy your relationship sometimes, for I've made do without a mother's presence in my life. Oh, well, that's the first thing she said about Nyx. Okay, we got Divine Dash. Been curious about this game, excited to watch you play. I had no idea this game had so much uh what does that say okay you know what hold on because so uh, youtube i have to open my own stream now because you know what youtube did they put like this this like heart reaction thing in my chat okay we got divine dash oh i gotta mute had so much detail in it okay got it yes i know it's crazy um so i would say that this game is very very good it i i like i think you should definitely 100 percent play it however when you get to the like very end like i am like i'm trying to get the epilogue right now so i have been through the main ending so if you don't want spoilers then i uh have to warn you i'm pretty far into the game but I, there is an epilogue well, and it is very difficult trying to get to the epilogue because it's just so random that you'll get what you need in the game. Like, I think they should have put in some features or upgrades when it gets to this point where it makes it easier for you to get like the resources that you need or the conversations that you need to get to the epilogue and max out people's relationships and side quests and stuff like that because 
it, it's just it's so inefficient like it takes so much time like i have to go through all of these runs just like hoping the characters and the gods show up that i need and then on top of that i need them to say the right thing which is i have no control over it like it's just random if they give me the conversation that i need or not and then it, when it comes to resources like i you know like this is a pomegranate that's not what i need right now i need a nectar i have a better idea so that's this is like i can try to change it but it's also random what i get so that's also like not something that i need so and i mean i just think like when you know you played so many hours of a game like people are gonna typically you know people don't play the same game over and over like people like to play different games and so when you get to this point in the game and you typically you're gonna want to move on to other games but i played so much of this game i still can't get to the epilogue <laughs> yeah i know all about that struggle right spoilers are fine are you sure that makes sense. Lower the tedium. Right, exactly. Because you've, you've already been through the game, you know, like, you've already gotten the main ending. When you're trying to get to the epilogue, then they just make you go through the game over and over. When you have no idea if you're going to get what you need or not. between us, I think. Can you not feel it too? Though no, perhaps your lust for blood overpowers your other senses, hmm? Okay, so we gotta unlock for Harry- or for Harry's- Aries. Okay, so I was- I was- for example, I have been- okay, so- okay this is a good example so if you see some of these gods and other characters but i'm working on the olympian gods right now so if you look at the very end they've got a locked heart which means that i built up my relationship with them to a certain point and now i have to do some some of them require have specific requirements to unlock the heart aries however i have been trying to unlock his heart for a really long time and Basically, for him, I just had to get, you know, I just had to run into him as much as I could and talk to him as much as I could. And I could, I just had a hope that he was going to say the right thing that would unlock that heart. That's it. Like, I just happened to get it now. But I've been working on that for so long. Like, just, I mean, just to, hoping that no, he's going to say something. So, okay, see, that's a nectar. That's what I needed. This is the item that you give the characters to level up your relationships but it's a random drop. So I have no idea if, when I go into this, you know, when I go make a run, I have no idea if I'm if even gonna this. get a nectar or not. And then I have um, these things that where I can try to alter the reward and just hope I get a nectar, but it's totally random. Like I have no, I have nothing where it like increases my chances of the, of getting a nectar. I think that should be an ability you can turn on. So when I get back to the so the house of Hades is like your home base. It's where you get all your permanent upgrades and everything. So when we get back to the house, I'll show you that um, there's like these permanent upgrades you can buy. We made it. And then there's also. Um, what they call the house contractor in the house and you can pay him certain resources to like do upgrades in the underworld so they could have put it on him too they could have made that like an ability that you can buy from him so my strategy right now is just to maximize first of all nectar and then there are some things you can do to get more nectar like so keys are another resource. So keys are a resource I used to need a lot, but not anymore because they would upgrade certain things for you. But I have the, all the upgrades that I want. So, but if you have, you know, an excess amount of keys, you can trade them in for nectars. And you can also trade gems, which I just got, and I'm going to go get some more. You can trade gems for keys, which then you can trade for nectar. So that's how I'm getting all these nectars, if I'm not just running into them. 
It is a really good game, though. I would just say, but I would just say, like, the these little things of, like, having the epilogue be so, like, complicated and difficult to get to, and then the side quests and doing the favors, which are the side quests, I guess, and the relationships, having them be so, like, complicated to get to and so random is just, like, it, like, lower, it, like, brings it down a notch for me. Okay, so now we can max out Ares. I offer you this ambrosia in your name and honor, Lord Ares. To the god of war, how many foes have I vanquished with your aid and guidance? But more than that, I am pleased to know you and to be your cousin. Ah, such an exquisite gift this is indeed. Yet the destruction you have sown, the sheer carnage, nothing can surpass that, I should think. Should you ever go to war, my kin? Genuinely go to war, I mean. Do look me up. I imagine I would take your side. Okay, so now we have all his hearts filled up. Olympus, I accept this message. Impending doom? I've never seen this one. Your doom effects deal more damage, but take 0.5 seconds to activate. It is a fated choice, so I haven't picked it before. I think maybe they only give you certain boons after you max your relationship. That's an annoying way to pad things out in a game. Artificial length and artificial difficulty in games kind of squashes the fun. It makes it a job. Exactly. I completely agree. I know some people enjoy that kind of gameplay, but I do not. Guess not. What happened to your weapon, Cyrus? I sensed its power long before you turned up. It has just some Daedalus enchantment on it. Oh, Stygius and I have been getting much more closely acquainted lately, Meg. Would you care to see the fruits of our healthy symbiotic relationship? You and a healthy relationship? Why, yes, then this, I have to say. And then when this battle is over, I will also show you some things in the Codex. So, for instance, this is Meg, who is my least favorite theory to fight. So when you get to this part, this boss, because this is the boss of Tartarus, you'll fight one of the Fury sisters, and it'll either be Meg, who I'm fighting right now, who is the most difficult Fury, or it will be one of her sisters, Persephone or Electo. So every one of them, all the characters have an entry in your codex, which is like your log. And in order to fill out the entries completely, you have to fill certain conditions. Like maybe you have to face, you know, people a certain amount of times, or you have to do something for them or something. I mean, they all have different requirements. But it's it's random who you face in this battle, right? So if I go look at my entries for... So here's Meg. So Meg is the only one where you can like give her the nectar and develop your relationship. And I haven't given her enough nectar, so that's why it still says learn more by deepening your relationship with Megara. But for her sisters, Electo and Tisiphone, if you see at the end there, it says learn more by vanquishing Electo, one. Learn more by vanquishing Tisiphone, four. So I have to beat Electo one more time in order to get the next entry in her profile. To Stephanie, I have to defeat four more times to get the next entry in her profile. But it's com it's random who com it comes up out of these three. So if I get Meg in this fight, this does not help me fill out Electo or Tisiphone's entries, but I have no control over that. And it doesn't seem like the game, you know, takes it into account. It doesn't, like, give you... You know, it doesn't, like, give you the people that you it knows you're trying to fill out. Oh, I, I forged a bond with Charon. Only a scant few souls ever earn the favor of this feared boatman. Some of the strongest kinships form during the darkest of circumstances. So when you max a relationship with somebody you get a keepsake from, so these keepsakes are like accessories that people give you when, when you give them nectar for the first time. Look at these little chibi icons they have. Aren't they so cute? Look at Hades. He's so cute. Okay, so we're going to try to get Artemis, I think. 
And then at the same time, we'll try to get an opinion from her about Zeus. Because apparently that's a trigger to get Zeus's next heart unlocked. Yeah, then. I mean, yeah, the game's really fun. Like, and I don't even like roguelikes. Now we're getting somewhere. But it's just, you know, I'm ready to play something else. And I can't, I, well, I could do that. I could do whatever I want and it's my life. But I don't want to move on to another game until I get the epilogue at least. And that's been very, very difficult. And I have been trying to, I, you know, I wanted to get the epilogue before at least next Friday because that's when the new Zelda comes out because I want to play I want to play Zelda like day one but I also want to do a review video on Hades time to tune up this sword well, let's get breaching slash they are obnoxiously cute I know right okay there's Artemis I have returned. How about another of our little contests, Sagrius? All of you. He's not kidding. So normally, um, I don't like roguelikes because, you know, it's like you said, it, it's like kind of like a chore. Like, I don't like it when games are too difficult because then they're not fun anymore. I mean, I play games to have fun. I don't want to, like, hate my life. And when games are too difficult, like, that's just it's frustrating. Why, and why do we ever want to be frustrated while we're playing games? Unless we're playing games like Mario Kart or Overcooked. I mean, some games are just, like, meant to. That's just, you, you just have to be in that state of mind while playing it. But those are, like, competitive games. And that's the end of that. are not easy to communicate, though you're learning from experience at least. Okay, so the hunt is on. As another example, that conversation was not what I needed from Artemis, but it's completely random. So her her heart is also locked. If you look here, her heart is locked, but I need a specific like conversation from her in order to unlock the heart. I've gotten, so I've gotten a couple of conversations from her that I need. So when she talks about this nymph that she likes, Callisto, then I know we're getting closer to unlocking the heart, but it is completely random if I get that conversation or not. So, I mean, like, you know, Supergiant is the one that made this game, and they really like making these kinds of, like, roguelike games. So, Supergiant, if you are listening, this is definitely something to improve upon. It's you, boss. That's good. But you're standing still. That's bad. Let's get you up and moving about again. All right? Oh, greatest reflex. Oh, dash two more times. That's really good. Show me, Charon. I feel that I just actually just started doing challenge runs a year ago, but when I don't want to do a challenge run, I prefer something chill. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, like, so challenge runs, like, they are, you know, like, I don't like fault people for doing challenge runs. It's just, like, not something that's for me. Although I do get why people like doing them because you can get very creative with them. Until next time, gigantic Gorgon head. See, and then she didn't even say anything to me there. I implore the fates. 
<laughs> okay, see, I changed that twice, and I still didn't get what I wanted, which was either nectar, gems, or keys. should go back to the rail i think the i think having the rail is i think that's the most efficient way to get through this oh there's eurydice okay but i don't think that i can progress with her either until i progress with orpheus welcome back yeah, she doesn't have a, a, an exclamation point over her head, which means there's nothing new. Okay, so this is Eurydice. So there's an NPC um, in every single region that has their own little, like, side quests. And Eurydice has a side quest with Orpheus, who is back at the House of Hades. This is another thing that annoys me, though. So... Okay, so Orpheus here... I've only given him two nectars, okay? Oh, well, three. But I need to give him two two more. But if he's at the House of Hades and he's singing, you can't give him a nectar for some reason. I'm like, what? That's so stupid. Because then that means I have to go do another run and sometimes he's not even there. Hey, welcome back, your royal majesty. You're just in time. Enjoy. Thanks so much. Heroic. Mm, I mean, those weren't the boons I would have chosen, but that's fine. I do highly recommend Returnal, which is also roguelike and became one of my favorite games ever. I also dislike roguelikes. Really? I have heard really good things about Returnal. I have not played it. But maybe it'll be my next game after Zelda. Better. Because after I play Zelda, I really don't have any plans after that. I mean, there are some older games that I'm interested in, like Final Fantasy 1 and 2, because I never played those ones. And I've also been thinking about playing Chrono Trigger. But then again, I don't know, because so Chrono Trigger is a game with no voice acting and it's really hard for me to have to read everything out loud because it just like kills my voice. Because I had to do that with Chrono Cross and it like killed my voice all the time. I guess I would have to do that with a, a Final Fantasy too. And then there's some other puzzle games I'm interested in. so. I've been wanting to go back to playing Escape Room Simulator. I used to play Escape Room Simula Simulator with some of my friends, but we haven't played in a really long time. But they've been coming out with new DLCs and new rooms, and that game is so much fun. Do we have a green head? No, we don't have a green head. This game is already pretty long in the first place because in order to get the actual ending, you have to get out of the underworld 10 times, which is very difficult. I mean, now I'm just like running through like it's nothing. Lovely chatting with you, Lerny, dear. But that took so long. Returnal feels insanely hard at first, but it's just a learning curve. Once you have the dance down, it's one of the most intuitive feeling controls I've ever experienced. The huh. Let's fail to stop you. That sounds a lot like this game, to be honest, and I really like this game. So let's work on getting um, Dionysus in.
get me out of here. I will say though, I broke my A button playing this game because A is dash. Wait, is that A? Yeah. A is dash in this game and I use dash so much that I broke my other controller. So I had to get a new one. Another day or night in paradise. Got blurry slash. That should do it. Oh no, sadness overwhelming. Poor little A button. I know. <laughs> it gave its life for a good cause. Did you ever play Dead Cells? That is another roguelike that everybody said was really good. Like, everyone was like, oh, even if you don't like roguelikes, play, play Dead Cells, it's so good. And, I mean, it was like, I played it, and I beat it, and it was, like, fine. But I didn't really think it was as good as everybody else said it was. Here's my problem with roguelikes. You know, they make this big deal out of, like, oh, it's procedurally generated. No two levels are ever the same. You have a... 5 billion unique levels you can play through. And then, really, it ends up being all the same. I mean, oh, okay, maybe the door is on the right side this time instead of the left. Oh, it's different. But they, they run a very high risk of being repetitive. There's Dionysus. So when I played Dead Cells, you know, like I didn't really play roguelikes, but I was like, I bought, I bought into that like whole like, oh, it's, it's gonna be different every time. And I played it, I'm like, I mean, it's really pretty much the same every time. Like, 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 let's take this game, okay? So it doesn't really change. Like, first you start in Tartarus, and then you go to Asphodel, and then you go to Elysium, which is where I am now, and then you go to the Temple of Sticks, and then you fight Hades. That never changes. Maybe some of the levels, like, don't have the same enemies, and maybe some are, of the rooms are bigger or smaller. Let me tell you something, Zang. I know your dad. He's got to be a real handful. I relate to that. You understand me, mate? So you get out of there, and you'll be more than welcome here with us. So I didn't get an opinion about Zeus. Sweet. Okay, let's try for Artemis. It will be remembered as a hero, I know. <laughs> I will build a shrine to it. No, I didn't play Dead Cells. I keep getting told to play it, though. I mean, it's, you know, like, I don't think it was as good as, especially if you don't like roguelikes, I don't think it was as good as everybody said it was. But for somebody who doesn't like roguelikes, I did, you know, get all the way through it, which is pretty big. Each room has a different number of blades of grass. See how different it is? Exactly. Exactly. Like they end up being the same. Rematch then. A worthy challenger returns. Let's see you defeat me again. So for example, sometimes I run into this guy when I get to Elysium. Sometimes I don't. Oh, so different. Everybody makes such a big deal about procedurally generated. I'm like, it's it's all the same. Like, why why do we let's just like not pretend. What do you 
me not even a scratch. Your health is half gone. I said hi. Olympus, I accept this message. No, oh, she didn't even talk to me. See, the, and at a certain point, like, they don't even have conversations with you anymore. Well, there's Patroclus. Maybe I can progress with Patrick. I really don't know. Okay, he's got a new conversation. Forgive me, stranger. For, in retrospect, I was too terse after you told me what became of my Achilles. Tales of his climactic battle I had heard. The stuff about his ashes and my own. That was all new. No need to even ask forgiveness, sir. Achilles is one of my closest friends, but he doesn't care to talk about himself. About those times. It must be very painful for the both of you. Oh, we've all seen our share of pain by now, but knowing that he cared for me in the end, after the end, it dulls the feeling of it for a bit, as do these conversations, I guess. Uh, we'll do Cyclops Turkey, because my goal right now is not to get through the underworld. I'm just trying to max out resources. No. Ugh. Okay, I think you can only, I think it only lets you pick from three re See, this is another problem. Like, I think when you try to alter the chamber rewards, I think they only give you three choices. And then if you try to change it more than three times, it just cycles through them again. As a, I have gotten older, I have gained a greater appreciation for games that are halfway simulators. They typically have a better story, pacing, tight combat, etc. Ha! Oh, hallway simulators. I was like, what is a... I read that as halfway simulators for some reason. I was like, what is a halfway simulator? Okay, but I, what do you mean by hallway simulator? Because I still don't know what that means. I don't know what halfway simulator or hallway simulator means enough to eat stronger still what else oh there's a nectar okay I hate these things because they just like suicide into you Okay, we got one more altar. We'll try that. For a change. Okay, a key. We can, okay. Key is more valuable than gems. Because you can trade keys directly for nectar. Whereas you have to get... When I get gems, it's... I gotta trade the gems for the keys, and then I gotta trade the keys for the nectar. Okay, so typically... I mean, what I've been doing lately is getting through Elysium all the way up to the boss, and then I really don't need to go to sticks. That doesn't help me get anything when it comes to maxing out these relationships and these side quests. So I just die. I just let myself die at the boss, and then we get back to the house of Hades. And I think we're almost there. 
But of course, I will get all these like snarky comments back at the House of Hades about how I died, and I'm like, I did it on purpose. Of course, the game doesn't know that, but still, it doesn't hurt any less. Should be useful. Oh, I had an altar. Hmm. Oh, and, and we're at the boss. Okay. Um, you know what? That's fine. Look who has managed to come crawling back, Asterius. Let us deliver him again. Okay, we'll just die here. So that would mean a game like FF10 as an easy example. Everywhere you go is more or less a line leading you to a specific destination that might give the impression of a larger world. I see, okay. So kind of like, kind of like less than an open world game, but not a linear game either. Something in between. I also enjoy those a lot. I, I don't like games where you have too much freedom. I like having like specific things to do and like i like having like story goals and things like that like um like you know stardew valley everybody loves that game but i didn't really like it because like you could do anything like you could do whatever like it didn't really matter what you did and i don't really like that i like to have like some structure A less obvious example would be like the Soul series. You might have an alternate route that you were on, but all paths lead to the same place. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get what you mean. I'm the same way. Well, how often do you consult these lists you make? If you're spending too much time just making lists, you're not leaving time to get anything done. Oh, I love making my lists. I always illustrate the edges. Each one is unique. That way, anyone who gets to review the work, it's a whole experience, you know? But I guess it does take up a lot of time. You'll have to work around the constraints of your responsibilities. You do take breaks, don't you? Before and after each break, maybe that's a time to make sure your own list of priorities is up to date. Wait, my own list of priorities? But you're saying I could just go and make a list for me? Huh. Oh. Whoa. If that'll be all. Okay, so here we go. Perfect example. This is Orpheus, right? Oh, wait, I can give him the nectar. Okay. I don't know why the internet was lying to me then. But you know what? I couldn't give him a nectar before. He's singing right now, but I couldn't give him a nectar before. And when I looked it up, you know, the, the internet told me, the internet, which is never wrong, told me, that I can't give him a nectar while he's singing. It brings me joy knowing you found something worth fighting for. Okay, I don't know how to progress with Achilles. Yeah, I can't get into those like Valheim, V Rising, Minecraft, Stardew Valley, etc. They are fun for like four sessions and the momentum kind of falls off. Yeah, Minecraft is another one that I didn't really like. You have been keeping our contractor rather busy, I must say commissioning these frivolous projects around the house with the wealth you wrest from my domain. What are you hoping to achieve? Oh, you know, just giving back to the community. Figure if I'm to keep getting dragged back here, it might as well be somewhat livable. Hmm. So, um, I guess that would be like most building games, but I will say I like like The Sims and Roller Coaster Tycoon and other games that are similar to that, but I would also say that The Sims and like Roller Coaster Tycoon, they do have like specific things you're trying to get to, you know, like you're trying to get your sim like promoted at work or you want to get your sim a bigger house or you know now now the sims are it's gotten very it, it's gotten very like complicated and it's expanded a lot but you know in the sims 1 which i played you could only do so much but you know like you couldn't have kids or well you could have kids but you had to like you had to like put them in the family for like they didn't have like babies and they didn't get old and die 
like they do now. But you know, there there are things that you can do with your Sims. And then like Roller Coaster Tycoon, it's like, okay, you want to like expand the park, you want to build a new ride, you want to like do whatever. Like there's there are like things that you're trying to achieve. You always offer means to quench my thirst, my friend. A wonder that I have such feelings even now. Now that you've started singing once again, I figured it was thirst-inducing work. Your music stirs so many souls around here, mate. Okay, Orpheus needs two more. Nyx, you need one more. Among my many children, both those born to me and surrogate to me, you are one of the most thoughtful and most generous of all. You have always cared for me and protected me and given me someone to look up to. This is nothing, Nyx. Okay, now she's locked. Hey, Rebecca, how are you doing? Nola boy, what's up? I'm good, how are you? How was Guardians? Yeah, design and optimize as opposed to just design and you are essentially done. Exactly. If hypothetically I felt that some injustice had been dealt to someone who deserved a better lot, say that they were subjected to too harsh a punishment for all eternity, don't I have some of my father's authority to do something about it? Now that you have regained your access privileges to the administrative chamber, child, yes, that is the level of authority you hypothetically possess again. But how can I possibly find anything in there? The place is wall-to-wall -wall packed in parchments. I have no idea where to look. You can be made aware, though use discretion if and when you need to exercise this power, and make certain that the time is right. Now, are we understood? Yes, we are. Okay, so we're getting closer to figuring out where Sisyphus's contract is. I really should have listened to Mother. Cause of death and palement. Okay. I think I finally know a little more about how you must feel, Dusa. Working for Father, I mean. I was so intent on running away from here, but here I am. Look, Prince, um, your father's always been a pretty scary god. And this is something between you and him. So, if you can forgive him, I guess it means you'd stay. And I would like that, so that's where I stand. I know it's really complicated, though. Yeah. Thanks, though. I remember playing the first Roller Coaster Tycoon when I was a kid. Honestly, loved it. Me too. I I still think about that game. Like, I I don't know if it's available on Steam or something. For questionable deals. good to pass up. I have 13 nectars now. Okay, Meg definitely needs she needs two more. Flattery won't get you anywhere. We can't go back to how things used to be. I bought a game called Planet Zoo and it's I, I mean as I think so anyway I haven't played it yet but I think it's similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon you just build a zoo instead. Flattery never got me anywhere with you to begin with Meg. Doesn't mean I won't keep trying. I am ever stubborn aren't I? Did they <laughs> Did they ever make a second roller coaster tycoon? Meg, what's going on with Nix and Dusa, do you know? I think they've been butting heads a bit lately. I can't imagine why. Nix has her under strict orders, yet you keep on stopping by for your little chats. You think she doesn't notice? What does she care? I talk to everybody around here at least a bit. It's not my business, Ag. Not even for Dusa. But you watch yourself. How is this my fault? <laughs> Zagreus is like, I have to stop the people. Ooh, I can gift her an ambrosia. How many how much ambrosia do I have left? Five? Hmm. It's not a whole lot. Here, mother. More bottled pleasant memories for you. I know you're glad you've long since left Olympus, but I'm glad you were there because the experience of it must have played no small part in making you who you are. You know, the last bottle you gave me brought more pleasant memories than I expected. No telling just how many more of them I've tucked away. Say, would it be all right if I share this with your father? It is yours to do with as you please. <laughs> Almost sounded like a no to me. No, I mean, yes, please share it with father if he would be willing. I imagine what few pleasant memories he has are all of you. Nonsense, there's also Cerberus. Present company excluded. Come on, son. Your father has a lot of work to do. 
but I'm absolutely certain that he has fond memories of you. Though I know that isn't reassuring coming from me. Everything is somehow reassuring coming from you, Mother. Okay, Mama's boy. Tell me something, Zagreus. Sometimes I fear. Do you hate him? I mean your father. Regardless of his intentions. It sounds as though he made your life extraordinarily difficult. All his pent-up fear and anger. You bore the brunt of it. Do I hate him? Mother, I don't know that I hate anybody, really. The tales of him and the Olympians rending their immortal titan parents to bits. I can't relate to how they must have felt. But I resented him for sure. And I don't know if I'll ever get over that entirely. Hmm. He doesn't hate him, but he resents him. I thought they were... I thought resentment and hate was were synonyms, pretty much. I'll have to look that up. I understand. I think that when Hades told you he asked no forgiveness, he understood as well and meant it. Well, for all his failings, I'm thankful that he did not teach you how to hate. For your own sake, if not for his. Sometimes I think he tried. Okay, so what I was talking about before was that um, I think they should have put... So these work orders are things you can do out in the underworld. So for instance, like... You can put in like these chambers that give you fountains that give you life when you're out in the underworld. I think they should have put something in here where it made you e it made it easier for you to get nectar. Well, my friend, let's get back to my song. Or whatever you needed. Chatting. It's been an absolute delight, Rebecca. Thank you for the good times. It was nice catching you live. I have to head out. Have a wonderful day. All right, Damonis. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Off the fated list. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Guardians was amazing. Best Marvel movie since Endgame. 1010. You have to see it. Wow. Okay. Okay. Where there's violence, there's Lord Ares. I believe resentment... That resentment requires a... Uh, Okay, that that uh, reacting is blocking the chat again. I believe that resentment requires a defined issue that the emotion is based off of. Oh, very interesting. Okay, or I think they could have put it in here. This is the Mirror of Night, which gives you permanent upgrades. So sometimes the broker will have deals where I can trade darkness. Anything good? doesn't have anything right now. But I do need- I need to earn some more Ambrosia. Might have to turn on some heat cages now. How's it going, Skelly? What do I look like, pal? Some kind of conversationalist? So one... Two, three, four, five. I still have five gods. No, six, because of Zeus. One, two, three, four, five, six. The meter. <sighs> okay, so Titan's blood, diamond, then Ambrosia. So I'd have to, I'd have to go through Elysium. All right. You know what we're gonna do? We're just, we're not gonna turn on any heat gauges right now. We're going to see if we can get some more nectar. Here on Olympus, nephew, we take care of one another and support each other. Quite unlike how it must be there in your father's dream domain. No wonder you intend to leave. And I also want to see if I can get Sisyphus. So another thing I read was that I am not talking to the boulder, which I should have been doing apparently. Uh, let's get Aphrodite. Well, actually, I think it... 
I don't think I need Aphrodite, actually. She, she gave me one of her opinions last time. But I don't- I don't think you have to hear it all in the same run. through the ages and i have to say you're quite intriguing even for our kind Eight and nine gems. Okay, that's a lot actually. Alright, I guess we could go with Ina. I don't know if I've heard her opinion on Zeus yet. I, I feel like I have heard at least five opinions on Zeus. But I guess the game has, uh, you know, the game says I haven't, so. The gods have spoken. I understand you've been in contact with my father. Your Uncle Zeus, I mean. He's taken interest in your plight. You should feel honored. Well, there's another one. Okay, we're gonna go into chaos because we might be able to advance the chaos and Nyx relationship. The heart of the underworld. Decisions is of interest to me. Or not. Not what I need right now. Okay. Can you get Ari's opinion on Zeus? We've maxed out his relationship as well. So we don't need him for that, but we could see if we can get him to say something about Zeus. Who's laughing now? You're such a wondrous thing, my kid. It solves so many different problems whilst perpetuating its own inevitability. Let's keep it up then, hmm? Mm, nope. The War God's power. Almost using a death defiance, so that's that's okay. I might actually just do Tartarus so I can get back to the House of Hades more quickly. Sisyphus.
curse of chaos has been lifted. Perfect. So at the end of this, I'm gonna see if I get Persephone or Electo, but then maybe I'll just die in Asphodel so I can get back to the house. Nectars is pretty good, but now people are going to start requiring Ambrosia. Much harder to get. And then people are, like, now they're requiring three Ambrosias? Like, I think they made maxing the relationships and getting all the favors and side quests done. This is way too difficult and complicated. stuck up and must be making matters much more complicated than they have to be. I wonder, dearest Aphrodite, whether you'd be willing to repeat such things directly to my countenance? Oh, you must know full well that I would do much more than that directly to your countenance, Athena, dear. Quite frankly, you could use a lot of work. Yes. Parting shot. Okay. Well, looks like I already got that one, but just in case. Electo. How many times is it going to take red blood? How well, the good thing. Tell me, how can you stand running into me like this over and over? Is that I only need to defeat her one more time to get the well, habits can be hard rest of her entry. As for how many times, I've really no idea. Though I guess there's one way to find out. I'll give you one thing. I like it when my prey bites back. Come on, let's see some blood again. <laughs> That she appears to be on questionable terms with her own sisters and is not permitted in the house of Hades to, to profane acts of insubordination long past, perhaps is all that needs to be said of her now. Okay, so I have Electo's entry filled out finally. Those riches of Tartarus cannot be relied upon. So I do need to upgrade. Hermes, Hermes's um, keepsake. See you, Tartarus. So I th I've talked to Patroclus last time. He gave me a new conversation. Be there soon, Lenny. But I think it has to go back to Achilles now.
here, cuz. But good news is you are about to close the gap a little bit. You deal bonus damage based on any bonus move speed. That's a faded choice I've not seen before. The haste of Hermes. Where now? Onward. How was your tacos? I seen your IG story. Oh, they were so good. And that other thing on there was a stuffed avocado. I got the ceviche on that one. It was really good. And a cucumber lime agua fresca. So th that food truck was at um, this farmer's market that's close to me that's... Uh, that goes on every Saturday. But I think that food truck just started being there because I don't remember ever seeing it there before. But it looks like from now on they'll be there every Saturday. Brought my dog to the farmer's market too and he got lots of pets. He had a couple of kids that wanted to pet him. There was a little girl that wanted to pet him and he licked her face and she was all like, ew. And then there was a boy that wanted to pet him. He was a little older. He was like, um, I don't know, maybe like 12, 11 or 12. Uh, he really liked my dog. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go back to the house. It's my last chance. How? Because I know I can. I I think Nick's. Just needs one more heart. <laughs> well, there's one way to check. Oh no, she's locked. Th Thanatos needs one more. Meg needs one more. Oh, Achilles is locked. Orpheus. What? Ah, we're just keeping watch over the pool of sticks there, same as always. Bye, Hypnos. More than enough parchment work to go around. <laughs> hey, mate. What do you say we share this over in the lounge? Oh, I... certainly why... I don't see why not. I mean, it's not as though I've got something to do that isn't that. Uh, what? <laughs> and Was that anyways, grammatically correct? I, back. I mean, the moral of the story is to not look back when you are told not to look back. You understand, don't you, my friend? Don't look back, huh? I'll try not to. Though you can't be blamed for doing it yourself just the one time. What happened to you... it wasn't fair, if you ask me. Okay, so we're getting somewhere with Orpheus. I quite enjoyed our outings, Agrius. So I suppose I shall be seeing you around. Take care, mate. No, oh, he's only got four. Okay, so what he was talking about is if you don't know the story of Eurydice and Orpheus, Eurydice and Orpheus were married and then Eurydice died. I'm not, I don't remember how, but she died, went to the underworld. Orpheus wanted to go get her out. So he played some music for Hades and Persephone and they loved his music so much that they agreed to let Eurydice out. And they told Orpheus to lead Eurydice out of the underworld, but he couldn't look back at her, like not even once. And if he looked back, they were going to take her back to the underworld. And they were almost out of the underworld when Orpheus decided to look back. The vicious triple-headed Cerberus shows some restraint for now. 
So that's why she got sent back to the underworld. Okay, Achilles is not here. He was chilling under the table. Yeah, it was really hot today. It was like 90 degrees and he gets hot very easily Just because on things. he's got really long, thick fur and his fur is also mostly black. So he gets hot super easily. So he, he does not like being out in the sun. Um, Nyx, you ever have a burning urge to find the case files for the circumstances under which our court musician bound himself to eternal servitude here in this house and forever lost his opportunity to be with his beloved muse? I was wondering if you had a remedy for that. Our court musician brings a certain peace to this abode, my child. But you may discover, once you find his case files in section Zeta Pi Omega, upper beta folder, that the consequences that he suffers may be quite in excess of his trespasses. Zeta Pi Omega, upper beta folder. I'll look into it as soon as possible. I guess I should give Persephone, I should max out Persephone. I thought about it more, Mother, and I would like very much if you and Father were to share this. Though, maybe don't let on where you got it, just in case. This is splendid, Zagreus, but please, if there's one thing I've learned since we met, it's that the trust we share is at the very foundation of our relationships. Why shouldn't he know who this is from? Besides, I think he could figure it out. Well, when it came to the Olympians, you said yourself that there was only so much truth that they could tolerate. Are you sure Father would be tolerant knowing I got this for the both of you? I'm sure enough. And if he isn't, I suppose it's more for me. <laughs> well, just as long as someone puts it to good use. You know I always wanted to be a mother, Zagreus. But after you were born, I was certain I had lost my chance. Then one fine morning you just walked into my life. And here we are. I still cannot entirely believe it. What I mean is... I love you, son. I'm doing my best. No. I know. I love you too, mother. So max out Persephone. Thinking I ought to check the old administrative chamber now. All right, we're getting somewhere with the Eurydice and Orpheus. Contract I'm looking for should be back there. Here we go. Nestled among the towering administrative parchment work of the long since deceased lies an old document concerning a special pact signed by a once living court musician who attempted vainly to rescue his wife from death. Okay, it should be dispatched over to the house contractor now. What? Where did he come from? Ready yourself, lad, and give it another attempt. Alright, I guess I have to go back to Patroclus then, because I'm not getting in anything new with Achilles. Orpheus's contract. I can release him. Oh. Well, I have enough diamonds for this. Sealed document. Contracts lost in administrative backlog. The red tape can be cleared for a fee. Lord Hades personally appointed him as his court musician, but he refused to sing. In the name of Hades, I hereby release Orpheus from the terms of his pact. What? Where did you unearth that blasted contract? <laughs> Got you some more of that contraband you like. Don't suppose I could help you put it away or anything? Look at me, Zack. You think that all these gifts will make things go back to the way they were? They won't. It isn't possible. We may be immortals, but we're older now. I'd hope we're wiser, too. No, I can't talk to her anymore? Okay, so she's locked. So if you'll excuse me, please. Do so. Wait, before you fly away, there must be something I can do to help pitch in with everything. 
Doesn't matter how good you are at your job. What you're describing, that's more than one individual can handle. Your Highness, please. I know you mean well, but I have this. Wish everybody wouldn't doubt me all the time. Like that house contractor just gets to stand around waiting for work orders. Unless they come from me, then no. Oh, that might be my fault. I've been giving the contractor lots of work. Some of those lounge orders must be coming from you, right? This place is really shaping up. What? What? Wait! Then you're the one who's been authorizing all these improvements? Oh my! Oh my! Ah! Okay. To help. Kind of a strange reaction. What's new? Sure, why not? Here's the keys. Pleasure doing business with you, Fates. Oh, I completed this. But okay. Lord Hermes on my side. These bones, pal. What you just try it? Oh, look at Persephone's chibi icon. The the dead live on in the underworld, and her nurturing instinct there also thrives. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to try to get to Sisyphus and Eurydice and Patroclus. Fixed up. And then along the way, we'll just we'll try to do the gods. Numb skulls. you do someday you could meet callisto and the others it's quite beautiful and green and calm it's anyway okay that's one of the dialogues that i needed from her still didn't get her heart unlocked though really i mean this is just like ridiculous and I'm starting to have to get... I'm going to have to start working on getting more nectar or ambrosia instead of nectar, which is going to be even harder. Okay, let's see if I can progress with Nyx and Chaos. The fates have much in store for you, O oh son of Hades. Perhaps, however, we can tamper with their weavings here to some extent. Okay, so I think I have to... I think it's gotta be Nyx to progress with Chaos and Nyx's relationship. Because I've been to Chaos for the past like, I don't know, like five times and there's still been nothing. I'm 
empty. Oh, there's a nectar. Nice. Bit of a break. That's a relief. What else? I don't need Poseidon. Uh, come on. Time for a change. Really? Not yet. I don't think the meters. Fine. Let me check. But I don't think her heart unlocks until after the epilogue. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Come on, Tombstone. to chaos has evolved. Well, my nephew, you're admittedly in quite a bind down there. But what is life without its struggles, hmm? You'll make it here eventually, I'm certain. How about no? Also, I'm not sure if I have to give like people like Sisyphus and Patroclus and Eurydice a nectar or uh, ambrosia. I wonder if it's just completing their storylines that maxes their relationship. If not, they should. Like you should not. Ha you should definitely not have to give them an ambrosia because I spent three diamonds to unlock or to get them out of the contract with Orpheus that Orpheus signed. So if I do that, I definitely should not have to give her an Ambrosia.
Ooh, Sisyphus. Good to see you. Hello, sir. Boldy, while on one hand I know that making offerings to you won't really help me get out of here, on the other hand, maybe it will? What's the latest, Boldy? Had any good tumbles down that hill of late? We can give him nectar. The boulder. Good chat. Wait a minute. What? Boldy's not on here. Why didn't it give me a heart? with old master Thanatos of late, Prince said. Is he at least less stern with you than with the poor mortals he sent to take in here? Well, Thanatos is doing all right. Much like my father, I think he feels he has some sort of fearsome reputation to uphold. Or maybe he's perpetually stressed over his work. But he's been well lately. That's good, I guess. Always appreciated that he ultimately took me in, rather than having to show up here through much more sudden, much more painful means. Didn't stop me from trying to avoid the trip, of course. So a mirror. A pleasure. Okay, so I have to start talking to Boldy more. So long. Zagreus. My name is Zagreus. Can you say that to Siphony? No murder. Zagreus. Oh, she said the Z. Okay, so I'm gonna get to Elysium this time. See if we can get Patroclus because the last few times I talked to Hades. He gave me nothing, so we might have to get to Patrick Woods this time. Okay, so I only have to defeat Tisiphone a few more times to get her entry filled out. Three more times. Enjoy the searing heat of Asphodel. Oh, 
gotta get Artemis. All right, before I move on to Asphodel, I'm gonna take a little break. I'll be right back. All right, so we are back. I don't know what will happen with Eurydice if I even get her this time. Closer to the surface. But I think I need to make it to Elysium now and try to get the Patroclus. See, the problem is though, like, I spend so much time going, you know, doing these runs, getting to Asphodel, getting to, getting to Elysium. I don't even know if I'll get a Eurydice, Eurydice or a Patroclus. Just a few rides across the Phlegathon and up we go. Like, it's just completely random. Time to make some changes around here.
goods fresh from our mountaintop. Take all the time you need deciding if you want to be a slowpoke. Wait a minute, don't I have Artemis's keepsake on? Yeah. So why did I get... Why did I get Hermes? So I have noticed that even when you have some of these keepsake on, it's supposed to be that the next boon you get is from the god whose keepsake you're wearing. But usually the next boon is from Hermes. And he'll even say something about it too. He'll be like, oh, I know you're expecting whoever, like Artemis or whoever, but I got here first. But it's only ever Hermes. Which I guess that would make sense because he's the god of speed. And messenger. He's like the messenger god of swiftness. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, I'm not doing great on life. See, why is it Hermes again? I know that toll. I have returned. I have a feeling this is not going to take much time at all. This won't take long. No, it will not. You're the next. Well, there's Artemis, finally. not even make it to Elysium. That's okay though. I mean honestly I could always use a trip back to the house because you know different things happen every time I'm there. Or maybe maybe Orpheus is maybe that's why he was gone. Maybe he's with Eurydice in her room. What did she even say anything? Okay, see, like, at a certain point, they just, like, stop talking to you.
it's really annoying because then that's like it's even more annoying because it's like okay so if they don't won't even talk to me how am i supposed to trigger the conversations that i need from them that's why i think i should just like start from tartarus over and over and like not even bother getting to asphodel or wherever Speaking of Instagram, I haven't used it in two years. <laughs> yeah, I don't use it that much either. Social media detox. Yeah, I mean, I just post stuff on there for one for my modeling stuff. And then like, I just can't post like, I guess I could do it on Twitter. I could post like little stories and stuff. But I feel like Twitter is more for like, like pictures and text and not like videos. So instant and you, I wish YouTube had stories. I would post them on there. But Instagram is like the only place where I have like a place I can do like stories. Do you ever think to yourself that you were born a bit too late, my kid? For my part, I wish that I could have been there myself when my father and the others waged ferocious war against the Titans. Ah, it must have been a sight. Oh, wait a minute. I've done Hades, right? This is my fight. Ares, I mean. Yeah, I max out Ares. I don't need him. Um, but yeah, Instagram is definitely my least used platform. I have longed to hear the sound of your hiss, Lenny. I could have posted those vi those stories on Twitter too. I mean, sometimes I watch videos on Twitter. Mostly, I like I use Twitter for like reading stuff though.
Oh, that's Skelly. Okay, we'll get as far as we can in Elysium just to see if we can get to Patroclus. Great. Great. Really? Oh my god. We have three green heads. Worst run ever. Might not even make it to Elysium at this point. I'll tell you why I haven't used ID in that long since the pandemic. My main reason was that it felt too personal when it doesn't have to be. I don't know why, but for some reason it was and felt more for attention when I don't want it to be. ID gets used too much for attention seeking and not for much for the mutual reasons, more like validation. And I've never been that person. Yeah, I understand. When Riv first emerged from the darkness, he wished more than anything to be as strong as the many great heroes who reside within the underworld. But he was distraught by his thin frame and found there was nothing he could do to change it no matter how hard he tried no matter how he tried however mother knight cautioned him that he was following a path to greatness very different from the heroes he admired they were guided not by envy of others rib did not believe this he knew heroes inspired other heroes oh i've unlocked the tab the undiscovered tab it's fables so these must be the companions but yeah, I I understand what you're saying, Melbuster. I feel like uh, Instagram feels that way because it, like it's just pictures. We'll have you back here soon enough, I think. Which to choose? And you can't. I mean. That'll keep me alive. Okay, I'll get one of this just to make sure we get to Patroclus if we can. I mean, I feel like you can't get that much content out of pictures, you know, like... I think a lot of people are watching more videos now than looking at pictures. Like, even I watch a lot of reels on Instagram, like, and Instagram is also recommending me reels a lot, but... I watch, like, a lot of reels on Instagram when I go on Instagram, because I don't even go on Instagram that much. But I just like ha a picture doesn't tell you that much. So when people are looking for content, I think they're looking for something more than just a picture. Because when people are looking for content, they want entertainment or they want information on something. And so it's like, you know, how much information or entertainment can one picture provide you? I'm actually a really social person, just always hated how that arrow that we are in it almost feels antisocial. And I get reels on Facebook and those reels are from Instagram but linked to Facebook. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 because Facebook owns Instagram.
Yeah, I get what you mean though, because it it does feel like antisocial because you're still behind a screen. Like it's called yeah, it's called social media, but you're not in person. To me though, like, you know, people are always saying that in person, you know, in person contact is the best and like nothing can ever replace it and Especially when it comes to like work, like, you know, working remotely, like people don't like that, like, especially people who are high ranking, you know, biz business executives, they don't really like the remote work thing, but I definitely think it depends on what kind of person you are, because I have made some, I've made some better friends, like through online you know, just like interaction than I ever have in person. Ace, I got to tell you, I cannot believe that little Artemis is hanging out with you. She doesn't hang with anybody, man. But I digress. Take this. I mean, not always, but it's, I mean, it's happened sometimes. But I know other people who are like, oh, I can't do that. So it definitely depends on the person. Use this. The mother of all soul catches. See, no, no, he's not even talking to me anymore. It's like IG and other platforms try to make social media feel more connected when people are away from each other, that you can see people post videos, pics, but it isn't structured right. If social media was like interaction in real life type of way, but the way it's set up is virtual, the connection isn't there, and that's where social media falls back. Yeah. Oh, there's Patroclus, nice. Yeah, and I think people do feel more connected in a way because they get to see people like what people are up to their friends and family that they don't live near but i think some people mistake it for like a substitute for real you know real life interaction and it's, it's not really a substitute or it's not a replacement i should say it is a substitute but it's not a replacement whatever happened with that wall you mentioned sir if you don't mind my asking well truth be told here stranger i do mind you speak as one who's not experienced a war. Those of us who survived, or you know what I mean, we do bear some responsibility to history. But all the same, it's not a time and place to which I would return. I trust you'll understand. Thanks for this. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to the house now that I found Patroclus. I was even banned on Facebook for no reason because they thought I had a fake name when I didn't. I unbanned myself. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why would they think he had a fake name? All right, let me see what happens with Orpheus. Um, all right then. If he's not here, then I'll see if I can get to Eurydice's room. Well, hope you enjoy your stay. 
Queen Persephone. All of us, we are most pleased you're back. If there is anything that I can do to ease your acclamation to this house, you need but ask. Why, thank you, Thanatos. I'll take you up on that if I can think of anything anytime soon. But my, you've grown. I understand you've been looking after my son in the meantime. Your son, he... is very capable of looking after himself, it turns out. Although I try to be there just in case. Though, I must beg your pardon, Queen. Someone awaits me on the surface now. I know how mortals hate waiting around. The Hound of Hell rests peacefully upon his favorite spot. I don't know why they keep calling Cerberus the Hound of Hell, or the Hellhound, because... More pets are certainly in order. He's, I mean, he guards the gates of the underworld, I'm but the underworld, you, the underworld includes Tartarus, which is like, like the hell of Greek mythology, but it also includes Elysium, which is like the heaven. Like they're all in one place. They're all in the underworld. So Cerberus is not just the guardian of hell. I had a second username and Facebook thought I was a fake person and violating their community guidelines, but those idiots banned me. I kept barely on FB while banned, and I unbanned myself. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I hardly ever go on One Facebook anymore. Before you depart again, boy. Until the Queen's intentions with Olympus come to pass, not a word to anyone about her presence here. Do you understand? I do, but she won't have to hide forever. <laughs> hey. I would do anything for just one glimpse of Aphrodite. Cause of death. Dehydration. So I have... I mean, I still post on Facebook technically, because I have my Facebook linked to my Instagram, and it just automatically posts from Instagram, but I never go on Facebook. How is he, anyway, if you've encountered him of late during your journeys, lad? The fallen warrior you've run into in Elysium, that is. He's doing relatively well, I think. There's a lot you've told me that he didn't know about what led up to his present circumstances and your own. So I did have to talk to Patroclus to trigger another conversation with Achilles. You told him then, without requesting my consent to tell him first. What exactly did you say to him? Achilles, I... I'm sorry. I just told him about your ashes being intermingled, that whole thing, and about the pact. You told me once to send him your love and regards. This brought him no joy, only questions. You told me not to speak to father, not to him. You're right. I should have specified. Or shouldn't have. Because what you said probably is for the best. I didn't mean to lose my temper with you, lad. It's just... Look, thank you for looking out for him. For both of us. Just please be careful. I swear I will. Well, there's Orpheus. I can gift him more nectar, even though I released his contract with Eurydice. I am indebted to you, Zagreus, both for your friendship and embarrassment of generosity. And I, in turn, am indebted to you, Orpheus, for your calm demeanor and ability to accept life's greatest challenges. You inspire me, and I wish you the best. Zagreus, the most amazing circumstances have occurred. The terms of my employment, they've been altered such that... I may visit Asphodel sometimes. May visit her. That's great. Orpheus, what are you waiting for, mate? Go and find your muse out there. You two have lots to catch up on, I think. I think you're right. I am so very anxious, I must say. But I must also thank you for this opportunity and for speaking with me all this time. So, how might I repay you? Why is it always talk of payment around here? You're my mate. And your songs have lifted many spirits here, including mine. Now go, and make the most of this, will you? Thank you. I shall. No. I shall. <laughs> um, Prince Agrius? I just wanted to say something. If you have a little time, I know you're really busy. I can come back. Wait, no, now's fine, of course. What is it, Dusa? I'm not so busy, by the way, and always happy to check in. Wait, is something wrong? No, 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 it's just the opposite. I can't believe you helped me with the lounge. 
I don't think anyone has ever helped me out like you did, cleaning up after Cerberus and the new rug and the kitchen and just all of this. It was my pleasure, really. All of us use the lounge, don't we? This house can really be a lot, but in the lounge here, things are easier a bit, I think. I'm so glad we have you watching over it. You, you really mean that, Prince? But you don't know what this means to me. I'm finally caught up on work. What am I going to do? I, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this extra time. I have to go and plan everything out. Take care now. Okay. Oh, whoa. Wait, what is that? What? What is that? I've never seen that thing. What is that arrow thing? Oh, that must be a romance. Like, I felt like interacting on IG didn't help me be more social when I was already- when I already was, but then I came back with a post. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that, like, social media- I don't think it's, like, a replacement for in-person interaction, but I definitely think it- it, like, helps. It's- it helps people get to know each other. Wretched Broker, what's new, my friend? Nyx isn't here. Alright, well, I guess we gotta go back to Patroclus. That definitely came to pass. Ooh, that gave me two Ambrosia. Orpheus and Eurydice can be happy again. What? How did this... okay. I'm not sure how that completed, but okay. What gives me more... Okay, Sisyphus... doing Sisyphus's quest will give me more Ambrosia. What else gives me more Ambrosia? Divine pairing, that's a lot of stuff I haven't done yet. Reach the surface with the hidden aspect of Varatha. Oh, I haven't. I've, I've never equipped the pierced butterfly or the skull earring. <laughs> okay, so I got to do that. Learn to play the liar. Okay. So we'll try playing this. Yuck. I don't know how I how much I have to practice this. I'm actually one of the 444k that have to heal the planet. Crazy. What do you mean? Yeah. Hey. Mm, let's go back to the blade. Dionysus, okay, nice. So, I think, um, the plan is now is to try to get some of these side quests done, and then along the way, we'll see if we can max out the gods. Hello there, Dionysus. I've got a feeling this time, man, like things are really going to take a turn for you, and I mean for the better, almost certainly, I think. <laughs> I'm a light worker. What's a light worker? Let's see what else. I don't know that I need more keys because I'm s I'm starting to not need nectar as much anymore. I need more ambrosia at this point. I implore the fates. Okay, 
I don't need either of those. I feel like the game like knows what I'm trying to get and it like deliberately keeps me from getting it like because I mean out, out of all the random things that it could give me why is it always something I don't need? I guess I'll, we'll keep getting the keys in case. But instead of using the altars to look for nectar, I think what we'll do is try to get more of the gods instead. You're a divine person who has to heal the planet by needing another divine person and being one with your DNA. Oh, okay. That sounds very interesting. Lord Uncle Zeus. You keep you safe here from your father, Zagreus. But while you're still inside that underworld, there's only so much we can do. Shocking. How about another? I mean, I guess I'll take the nectar. It's not gonna hurt. Oh god. If I could take a minute of your time. The crazy thing is that ever since my spiritual awakening two years ago, my family and loved ones can't recognize my, my high vibration. It's like I don't even exist. Pretty ridiculous. So I'm sorry to hear that. Why do you think that is? Don't need a meter. I need another okay. god. All right, well, just so we can try to get to Patroclus. Crisp. Change of plan. <sighs> really? I wonder if you have two doors, if... The time has come. You have the butterfly I gave to you. Stay back then, and it'll make you stronger once I'm finished here. Ah, he noticed. I wonder if you have two chamber doors. If you use the altar, if it's like it goes through the same... cycles through the same rewards. For both doors. Let's 
So what's that? Stash. Hang on to this one. So whenever I have the Bye. blade equipped, I beat Thanatos really easily. Well, because I'm in a higher level of con consciousness and they aren't. I'm awake and they're asleep. Ah, I see. Couple more altars. In the name of Hades. <sighs> See, he didn't even talk to me. Tagnasis won't mind, will he? Please be Meg. No, don't be. Sure enough. <coughs> I sense something of death upon you, Zagreus. What's that you have? Something from Thanatos, is it? Oh, this old thing. It's just a listless butterfly fan gave me, which happens to fill me with even more supernatural strength than usual. Don't pay it any mind. Not even Thanatos can help you here. But if I ever start a bug collection, I'll know who to call. So I guess it does cycle through Meg, Electo, and Tisiphone every three times. Because I felt like I was getting Meg more than Tisiphone or Electo. But it does seem to have been cycling through. I'm already in health. It's kind of funny that my family doesn't recognize any regenerated me. It's a spiritual transformation in me. Maybe... I mean, do you feel like your personality has changed? Maybe they just... Keepsakes hold power. If your personality hasn't really changed, maybe they just see the same millbuster they've always known. Next floor. All right, let's see if we can get to Eurydice. I'm pretty sure we will see Orpheus in her room. If not, yeah. then I mean, I guess that's fine. I'll take another. No, I just wasted my last alternate on that. <sighs> I'm starting to get really annoyed with this game. So I've got 12 nectars, which is a good amount, no, but be reasonable, no? I don't know if I'm going to need that much because most people are getting their relationships maxed out now.
We'll go through Terra and make it easier. Well, I'm a new born again Christian with Holy Spirit and regenerate with a spiritual life. Spiritual awakening made me a better human. I see, I see. But, uh, I mean, maybe if, you know, you... Your personality hasn't really changed, then maybe your family and friends just see you as the Mel Bester they've always known. Moving right along. First, I see. My father's gifts are generous indeed, though I think I can help in my own way. Okay, I don't know if that was really an opinion on Zeus. I don't know if that counts. So apparently in order to unlock Zeus's heart, locked heart, you have to hear five opinions from other gods on Zeus, which means you have to have one of Zeus's boons and then go get a boon from another god and then sometimes they'll say something about Zeus. Which of course that's another thing, like sometimes they'll say their opinion, sometimes they won't. It's completely random. Eurydice. The only thing I get confused is if I have a friend on Facebook that I'm close friends with and they're friends who I met through them, they for some reason delete me as a friend off Facebook. When they're friends with the same person I'm friends with, just makes no sense. Hmm. Yeah, I can't explain that one. I've also then noticed the same thing that happens with me. Like, I've had the same experience, but I don't know why that happens. see we might already be at the hydra yep i'll take this one all right well we can at least try to get to patroclus and then after we get back to the house we could kill you yes try to get to your odyssey again So easy. Yeah, 
go. I think it's supposed to thunderstorm here. I just heard some rumbling. Another green head. I feel bad because I'm friendly and like to mingle. No more heads. I'm the same way, Meldester. All mine. But I feel like that like turns people off a lot of the times when I'm like really, really nice and like I'm like I don't know. I mean, I'm just I'm not like trying to be fake about it. I I, I mean, I also, you know, I, I'm also friendly and like to mingle. But I feel like people think that, like, if us. you're too nice at first, you're, like, fake and you just, like, want something from people. I'm gonna make a throwback Thursday post an ID about how I recently met Fat Joe as a big comeback post so green. while I was gone for two years. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then they'll be like, oh, you met Fat Joe, Joey Crack. Do it. Okay, so I have Hermes's thing equipped. But it won't help me to talk to Hermes right now because I need to have, I, I think anyway, according to what the internet says, I need to have his keepsake maxed out before I unlock his heart. The rift, the blade rift dash is really good for those little kamikaze chariots. Things stayed less. Stand aside. through Charon. Make it easier. Oh, it's definitely gonna storm. Hearing a lot of thunder. Don't spend it all in one place, mate. Definitely check out our Everyday Lives YouTube channel. He's going through the same thing I am. Helping heal the planet and stuff like that. Ascension and spiritually twin flame stuff. We're sons of Jesus. Okay. Our Everyday Lives.
Alright, I feel like... I feel like I'm getting close to the bosses. Okay, Zeus. I mean, Zeus has completely stopped talking to me. You'll know what I meant from earlier. Okay. Understood. Nice and cool. No Patrickless. I even use Telegram with him. Oh, really? Nice. Sounds like he builds up a good relationship with his viewers. Now they've just completely stopped talking to me, so... I'm not gonna go through the cascade. I think that I need to progress more with Nyx. So my my only hope for Elysium right now is that I can get to Patroclus in order to do some kind of progression in this game. Looks like we're at Asterius and Theseus, so I'm going to go back to the house. I've heard clams feed upon the memories of the fallen, giving the river of forgetfulness its distinctive quality. Though who first said this to me, I cannot recall. Asterius and I shall smite you back into the lowest depths of hell. Yeah, yeah, they have... They have no new dialogue either. 
Oh. All right, I'm gonna check my phone while uh, this is playing out while they kill me. You have insulted me too many times, Blackguard. All right, so we didn't get. It's uh, one bad bull. We didn't get Sisyphus. We didn't get Eurydice. I knew I had a one in three chance. Cause of death, poison mushroom. I've heard that your reports have been immaculate of late, Hypnos. I have to know, who's helping you with them? It can't be Zagreus. Oh, ha, ha, no, he doesn't help. It's just, I took to listing only the important stuff up top and spending just a bit more time on the priority reports and guess it's working out. Look, whatever the case, the work's improved. It's been observed. You ought to keep it up. Aw, it's nice. Aw, oh, thanks. Good work, Hypnos. Too bad, boy. You voided the contract with our cult musician. Used your own authority against me. So what if I did? Just gives him a bit of a break from time to time. He's still your cult musician, isn't he? He is. And he knows better than to undermine me, I think. Though I suppose the Queen would take your side that he has paid his dues in full by now. He has. Hail. Oh, Achilles has a new conversation. Achilles, now that I have access to the administrative area again, I, well, I have access to the archives, and I have some authority to void those under certain circumstances. So about your pact. I know you mean well, lad, and from the bottom of my heart, where once it was. I thank you truly for the thought. However, don't exert your influence on this. Not now, at least. The fates can twist intentions. I don't want to take the risk. You're sure? Well then, I'll wait. But I am going to ask you again. We have to find a way to fix this. Patroclus is waiting. Alright, so we're getting closer. I know what must be done regarding chaos and myself, my child. It is not often that I ask for your assistance, but I need for you to do something for me, if you would hear me out. Okay, we're getting closer with Nyx and chaos too. Of course, Nyx. Anything. What can I do? In the administrative chamber, you perhaps recall the Elder Sigil there. Through it, we have access directly to the darkest reaches of the realm, but not to chaos anymore. Not currently. Though, this is solvable, I think. Wait, the sigil? But I'm not authorized to use it. It's never worked for me, and I have even less authority around here now. That you were stripped of your authority is what makes this possible at all. It shall require a significant expenditure of darkness. Then, the bridge to chaos may be restored, so that I might travel again to visit them. Will you bring darkness to the sigil for me, please? When possible. Oh, okay, so... Well, I have been saving up darkness. I don't know how much it will cost. I'll do everything I can. Hey, maybe you can put in a request with the house contractor for me. Make it official, right? So shall it be. Hmm, it's not there yet. I have to ask you for a favor, Meg. And I'm willing to make it worth your while if you'll hear me out. A proposition, Zagreus. Let's hear it then, while I'm in a charitable mood. It's about Sisyphus. If I can get my father to alleviate his sentence, would you just ease off of him a little bit? You and your sisters. I think he suffered quite enough under your whips. 
I don't know what you see in him, I swear. But you don't need to ask such things of me. If you can overturn a sentence with Lord Hades, I'd like nothing better than to never see that miserable shade again. It's a deal. Orpheus, our featured house servant. No, oh, Meg's locked out. Okay. What's up for Barter? Hmm, I need to work on getting more ambrosia now. Say, Dusa, in your work around the house, you wouldn't happen to have run into a skelly character out in the courtyard there, have you? Oh, not really, um, because my work is in the house itself, and well, the courtyard technically, it's kind of right outside, so I'm supposed to stay inside the walls, but I think I know who you mean. I've seen him, standing there just past your chamber doors. Why, is he okay? I think so. I hope so. Here's the latest catch, Chef. Seems fair enough. Well, I only have five ambrosias left, but A, am I about to get a couple more? Welcome, my son. This garden isn't quite the sight yours was back on the surface, is it, Mother? On the contrary, Zagreus. It has its own unique charm, as each garden does. I was impressed it wasn't left entirely to rot after my absence. It was totally off limits to me. Though I guess father must have taken care to maintain it as best he could. He did, all right. Minus the part where you weren't allowed. Though, let's look after it from here, shall we? Sounds good. We need two more conversations with Persephone. So, I think that mm, unlocking the epilogue, it might have to do with having those two more conversations with Persephone, too. The prophecy has been fulfilled. The son of the god of the dead shall make certain attempts to aid our mother night, who, through a course of time, has grown to fall, grown far apart from chaos, her parent and origin of all things. Ooh, I got four ambrosia for that. All right, well, we're going to still hold on to the ambrosia because I could give one to Dusa now, but I still want to hold on to them because, I mean, you never know. I, like, I can always give them out later. I would do anything for just one glimpse of Aphrodite. Cause of death dehydration. Okay, we just saw that one. The eldest sigil. Nyx needs it upgraded, huh? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't go in here for that. He said he told Nyx to put in a request with the house contractor. Uh, so where is it? Do I have to come back in here? Uh, okay. It, I think it must not show up until the next time I come back into the house. All right, well, we go again. What's new, Skelly? But we don't have to... Oh, actually, you know what? Um... Okay, we're gonna keep the Hermes What's the keepsake. Or something, pal? I don't think so. You need to learn to hold a spear, observe. A sturdy grip is necessary here and here. Though we must find for you an instructor with more time to spare. Oh, that was weird. I've never heard that one before. It sounds like a flashback. Lift. Because I know Achilles trained Zagreus. Oh, look, we got Zeus anyway. Even though we didn't equip his keepsake. Whether you're prepared is yet to harness the surpassing power I shall grant you now. Don't take this blessing lightly, and may you use it well. So that's good, because we get Zeus's boon first. So that any gods we run into now, they might say something.
good as new. It's you or me, fishies. How does he turn that way? But he's fishing to the right, but he's turned to the left. I think I've got one. Looks like a knucklehead. Give me another. Oh, actually, I should have kept the darkness. Um. Okay. Guess we'll get another nectar. I still don't know. Wretches. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to stop farming nectars. Because everybody wants ambrosia now. Alters. I think they should also include the NPCs that you get in each region. Okay, well actually, you know what? I said... I mean, I'm getting some darkness now, and I said I should have gotten darkness before, but... Getting darkness in these rooms it doesn't it really doesn't give you that much darkness and it only gives you like 10 darkness i think yeah it only gives me 10 darkness oh this is a faded faded choice okay i'm gonna have to get that Okay, Dionysus is good. So, Zag, you met my dad by now, your Uncle Zeus. He's cool and lots of feasting. Just be sure to keep him in your thoughts, okay? Uh, okay. Zeus again. We'll try it. We'll try to see if we can unlock his heart now. Come get smashed to bits. You're free, tortured souls trapped in a crystal. Nope. He didn't even talk to me. Hear me on my authority. worthless I don't think to have a bunch of nectars maybe the record broker will have a deal sometime where I can trade nectar for something else I need there's a chaos gate but we're not gonna go through it because the next step is to spend enough darkness to open that gate in the administrative chamber should be something useful here
So I don't think I'm gonna get anything out of chaos right now. My fate is mine. Alright, I think we're I think we're back at the Furies. Can't remember which one I I think I fought Meg last time. Hello, Tisiphone. You really did say murder, sir, didn't you? That's progress. Zagreus. I'm Zagreus. I'm not a murderer. Can you say Zagreus? <laughs> Oh, she like almost said it. I can't believe that I've played this much of the game. It's, I've played like a hundred hours by now. And she's just progressing to being able to say some of the sounds of Zagreus' name. I need to beat her. Peace to say. Like one more time. Darkness. Two more times. That guy I told you about he was fired illegally because of the vaccine. Oh, really? He was a science Enjoy teacher. The like because he didn't get the vaccine? Darkness? Okay, we could use it. He didn't take it. Ah, I see. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. I guess there were some places that required people to get it like i don't my job didn't i don't think i honestly don't know because i work remote i work from home so there wasn't a requirement because i didn't e i don't even like you know see my coworkers in person but my sister was required to get the vaccine where is this is set. Just in time. <laughs> Just in time for what? 
are you talking about? inside. Well, maybe not exactly, but just pick something, will you? Okay, well, he didn't say what I wanted him to say, which is something about Zeus. Delicious. Hit the spot. The meter? I don't need a Demeter boon. I mean, not that her boons are bad, but Demeter isn't a god I need to see right now. this room. The goddess Demeter. Is that the blood-like stain of pomegranate on you, Zagreus? A hardy fruit resistant to a winter's chill. How fascinating they survive down there. Oh, that's cold. So Demeter is... She's like the goddess of like... Gro like growth, like crops or harvest or something. And I think she's also the goddess of the seasons. Ah, oh, yes, Eurydice. Let me see. That's Orpheus. I thought he would be here. Goddess of the Harvest. And the fertility of the earth. Okay, so I think she's, I mean, she, because she can make it like spring or winter. That's why it's spring when Persephone comes back to earth and it's winter when she goes back to the underworld. So I guess that's why Demeter is in her winter attire now is because Persephone's gone. Why, Zacrius, how wonderful to see you here. Eurydice and I, we've been catching up for all the time we spent apart. Yeah, so if you would excuse us for a little while, hon, I'm not finished catching up with him just yet. But first, before you go... You know, this song gets stuck in my head a lot. Okay, so... Their storyline is done, although I can still max out... I can still max out Orpheus and Eurydice, I guess. I'm not sure why she's still locked. Maybe next time I see her, that heart will unlock. But their whole storyline's done, because I freed the contract. We're already at Hydra? Okay. That's good. That means that we can try to get to Pat Patroclus. Why, hello, Lanny. What have you been up to since I last destroyed your multitude of heads? <laughs> He summoned three green heads. I 
And you summoned another furry green head. to get to Patroclus. This game is really becoming just like a grind. Twenty-six more encounters to max out the plume. Gain one use of your Chthonic campaign to summon. A fated choice. Okay. I'll take it. Bye, Asphodel. Gotta get the fated choices. I don't think that games should become a grind to do anything. I don't think at any point you should be grinding to do anything in a game. Then that's not fun anymore. Like, I don't think that I should be constantly going through these runs just hoping that maybe a Patroclus chamber will show up because I mean by this point this is Elysium you know this is the third region so I have to spend a lot of time going through Tartarus going through Asphodel just to hope that Patroclus might show up And then I'm also hope, just hoping that the gods that I need will show up and that and I'm just also hoping that they'll say the right things that I need them to say like it's just stupid. Mm, I guess we'll do Poseidon just to see if we can get him to say something about Zeus. to stand in for the father figure I can tell you never really had. We can engage in all sorts of aquatic competitions, solve riddles, visit the sea nymphs. Oh, it would be great, wouldn't you think?
All right. Well, he didn't say anything. Weeks. Definitely heard some thunder. the death defiance. Oh, it's okay. As long as we can see if we can get to Patroclus before we die. Hermes has side hustle, which is you get a little money every time you enter a chamber. Like, what does Hermes have to do with that? I don't know what the Greek god of money is, but if there is one, they're not here. God or goddess. I mean, they don't have all the Greek gods and goddesses. I mean, there's, well, there's like a ton of them, but like as far as the major ones, like they don't have Hera. Nobody, none of the gods are talking to me anymore. Right there. Another car. Guess we'll try Dionysus again. feeling I am not going to get to Patroclus. Good. 
Nope, didn't get to crack those. All right, well, going back to the house is always a good thing. Upon my honor, fiend, you shall not pass. All right, time to check my phone while they're doing that. Yeah, that was quick. You could hear the roaring crowd. <laughs> oh hey! Oh hey! Oh, I guess you must have died out there again, huh? Huh? He doesn't say, yes. doesn't like say anything to me anymore, really. Mother, you'll forgive my asking, but your mother used to call you by a different name, didn't she? Ah, oh, don't remind me. Imagine if I called you Zaggy Poo from when you were born to this very moment. That's how that name felt to me. I much preferred the name my father gave to me. Your mortal father, right? So he called you Persephone. What was he like? Mortal father? So Zeus is not her father in this game. He was kind to me and funny. Little bringer of destruction I was to him. I liked that. He was right, I was a terror. Then he passed. I was very little still. My mother never spoke of him again. So I guess they didn't make Zeus her father in this game because that would make her Hades' niece, which would be weird. Demeter mentioned him a bit to me. She seems... I don't know, but I, I don't sense that she regrets the relationship or anything. Just sad about the outcome, I think. I suppose I can see that. I thought I might end up like father. Growing old, wasting away. Then the time flew by, and I realized I was closer to Mother's side. Mortals certainly don't have it easy. But their limited days, it means... They live their lives to the fullest, I think. At least we've some of that in us. Indeed, my son. One more conversation with Persephone. The vicious three-faced guard hound of the gates of death box out a brief hello. Aww. See you. Hi, Cerberus. Just as long as one of your three heads enjoys these pets. Cease bothering the dog. What? He likes it. Look at that good boy. Aww. If I didn't already have a dog, I would want a dog so bad after seeing Cerberus. Always wanted to ask you something, Father. Whose skull is that there on your shoulder? If it's not too personal. I did not chronicle all Typhon's wretched offspring, boy. No one did. Some of them sit upon our shoulders now, lest we forget that things could easily have turned out rather differently, and much, much worse. So these are just the remains of the spawn of the most hideous monstrosity of all time, which you and your brother slew, got it? I guess putting the dead in their place is all part of the job. I can hardly imagine what it was like before you and the Olympians took charge. Okay, I'm glad Zagreus explained that, because I did not understand that answer at all. You're better off. There's Nix's work order. Okay, here, here it is. 3,142 darkness. That is a very specific number. Really weird. Night, Nyx, night incarnate, by whose will and power much of the underworld endures. Okay, I have 2,155 darkness saved up. Okay, so I'm a good amount of the way. Nyx and I have matters here under control. Yeah, I think I have to talk to Patroclus. My child. Nyx. I was just busy doing some administrative chamber record keeping recently, and wouldn't you know it, it somehow slipped my mind where I could find the sentencing parchment work for the knave king Sisyphus, forced to toil out in Tartarus. I ran it by Megara. He has offered you aid repeatedly. At first I saw it for a brazen act of bribery, but try as I might, there was no deeper underpinning to his actions that I could detect. That is to say, the records you seek may be found in section Sigma Phi Alpha, Lower Gamma Folder. Sigma Phi Alpha, Lower Gamma Folder. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> so she just tells me where to find the contracts. Got anything good? I'm gonna have to save my diamonds, I think. I definitely can't spend any ambrosia. 
But I could, oh, you know what I could start doing though, is I could still start, I mean, I could still not start because I started already. I could still farm nectar and trade it for diamonds, which I could then trade for ambrosia. So I still need to get nectars. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe this won't be as difficult as I thought it was going to be originally. Oh, thank you. So... Uh, who do I still need to give nectar to? I think nobody, actually. I think everybody's got their nectars maxed out. Except Thanatos. Yeah. Thanatos is the only one. So one, two, three, four. He only needs one. Okay. I could... I have 19 nectars. I could trade for a diamond. I'll take that deal. And then I can also trade That's for another nectar. nectar. Okay. Um, do I, okay, I'll save, I'll, I won't give a Nectar to Cerberus yet. But I will, I'll give an Ambrosia to Dusa. Hey Dusa, congratulations on completing your assignment with the lounge. Look at this place, it's better than ever. All thanks to your effort and dedication. Here, this is for you. Something special for the occasion. Whoa, I, this, this is Ambrosia, Prince. But this is for gods. This isn't for someone like me. But wait, 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 no. Here, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. Here, take this. I got it just for you, so take it, please. Farewell. Okay. Um, okay, man, what's she give me? Do so, really? Oh, she gave me... Okay, she gave me a th uh, companion. Oh, I think I have to use... I think I have to use her companion before it unlocks an entry. Okay, well, we can do that in the next one. Okay, see, now... Okay, now things are getting a little more interesting. What do the three fates have in mind? You know what I mean? Like... Now I'm I'm getting more excited to do runs. But that took a really long time before I was like, oh, this is such a grind. I feel like at some point you can ask Orpheus to teach you to play this. Maybe not yet. Look at this guy over here. New keepsake. Oh, it's cute. Your summon joins you for 30 seconds, repeatedly firing shots that petrify foes and deal 70 damage. 18 encounters for the plume okay less talk and more sock in here pal so skelly needs two more nectars all right hold on i'm gonna look up like what what do, or not nectars ambrosia like what what do i like what's the benefit if i give them nectars Like, if I give, like, Cerberus two more Ambrosia, like, what does that get me?
Hmm, okay. Um, I can't really find a good answer. Okay, but I did see that it looks like oh, yeah, the heat gauge isn't going to do me any favors here. So it looks like um the best way to get Ambrosia is to do these packs of punishments. Wretches of the Underworld, take heed. Rebecca, Days Gone is an amazing game. It did not deserve the bad reviews it got when it came out because of the glitches and bugs. It's way pe better post-patch. Especially on PS5, it's great. Oh, nice. I mean, that game has been on my list for a long time. Time to mix up my style. Stygius grows stronger. Who keeps fixing that? Wretches. I was interested when it came out, but then it got bad reviews. Okay, I don't understand how to get them to... I mean, I... well, I just can't, I guess. There's just no way for me to get them to, like, trigger the conversation I need from them. It's just random. I mean, doesn't that seem like poor gameplay design? Days Gone, definitely not a 7 game, it's a 9 score. Don't let the bad reviews fool you. Well, I did hear, I mean, I did hear it did have a lot of problems and maybe that's why it got bad reviews, but if it's better now, then... I mean, I always meant to play it eventually, because, like, there are some games that I don't... I mean, I like to read reviews, but I don't... I mean, I don't, like, let reviews influence me, but I like... For one, I like to see what other people think. Oh, d wait, did that level up? So, for one, I like to see what people think. Um, for another, I do use reviews as a way to gauge if I should buy it or not. Like, I mean, when it's newly released, or if I should buy it, you know, only when it's on sale. Anything I need. I won't have it. So there's only there's only certain games that I would buy like right when it's released. Zelda's one of them. God of War was another one of them. Send you there. Okay, I just used that because I wanted to get the entry. When Feedy first emerged from the darkness, she grew very concerned as to why she was forced to slither bodily along the ground while shades could float about and bats could fly. Why was she forced to move in such a thoroughly ignoble way? It was unfair. However, Mother Knight implored her 
not to be so vain about her sense of justice. Surely there was there were creatures who envied her. Buffidi was unconvinced. I ask you've shown me a good time there, love. Although I almost can't imagine a good time where you reside. So dreary constantly. after patches mm. well i mean i always form my own opinions about games like i don't i don't let reviews like influence my opinions oh i forgot to check for a sisyphus's contract your highness hello sir you know, I think I'm growing more accustomed to relating to a giant stone. Boldy, how do you handle being trapped in Tartarus for all eternity, doomed to be pushed up and down a hill repeatedly for no good reason? Everything's fine as ever here, Prince said, so you go on ahead and don't look back. Sure, here you go. Thank you, mate. So, I was wondering if the tale of Sisyphus was accurate to, like, if the game was accurate. Because I didn't really know anything about Sisyphus. So if you don't know, Sisyphus is, a, like, a somebody from Greek mythology who was sentenced to push a boulder up a hill for all eternity, but it would always roll back down. Like, he could never get it to the top of the hill. But that's what he's supposed to do is get the boulder to the top of the hill but it you know it's it's it was sentenced that he could never get it to the top of the hill so it's you know very very frustrating for him i'm sure but in the game he's always really nice when you talk to him like i thought yeah i always thought he was like he's a really nice person and then sometimes you'll come into his room and the Furies, one of the Furies is talking to him and they're really mean to him. And so one, you know, one time in the lounge, Zagreus says to Meg, hey, like, why are you always so mean to Sisyphus? Like, he always seems so nice. And she was like, oh, he's not what you think he is. Like, he, he was a really horrible person when he was alive. And I was like, what, really? Sisyphus? Because he, like, seems so nice. So then I went and looked up the like the actual story of Sisyphus and yeah, it turns out he was like an awful person. So he was a king of something and apparently he pretended like he wanted people to travel to his kingdom. Like he pretended like he was a big advocate of like travel and different cultures and stuff. But then people would come to visit and he would just like kill them. So Wikipedia says it was because he wanted to keep ruling with an iron fist, but I'm like, okay, I don't understand how that helps him keep his rule. Please be Meg. Well, I did another horde. Hordes have gotten easy for me. I just take advantage of the open world map and run away as much as I can and use spacing to shoot. Nice! Okay, Electo, I have her entry filled out, so... No benefit for me to fighting her now. But the next- so the next one then should be Tisiphone, because it cycles through the sisters. Which, after that, I should be able to take- get Tisiphone's entry filled out. She's tough.
let's hear it, Father. Keepsakes hold power. Okay, so the plume is almost leveled up to the max. Let's go up and check. So, I mean, these are all just the same rewards that you do the first time. I have a better idea. Like, it's just a little bit harder, but it, it's not making it any easier to get Ambrosia. Because you only get Ambrosia once as a reward in Elysium. Your good to see. Wonder if Orpheus will be there. A slob hug. Looky who? Hey, listen here a moment, Hades kid. Look, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. For bringing Orphe back to me again and everything. Curiosity, you're more than welcome, really. You've helped me through the flames of hell time after time. Least I could do is coax old Orpheus out of his private pit of despair so you and he could set things right between the two of you. Well, you're a real sweetheart, hun. You'll still be seeing Orphe all the time around your house, but now I get to see him too. Nice having something to look forward to, you know? Bet someone out there feels that about you. I knew it. Why, thank you. But when he finally refused, she grieved, but she did not despair. Even in death, she moved on with her life. So... I could give her an ambrosia. Hmm. Do I want to, though? Okay, hold on. Let me look up what happens if I give her ambrosia. do anything except max her relationship with you so i'm gonna save my so more importantly i need to max out the gods but it is good that she's unlocked Okay. We maxed out on Athena, but we could use one of her boons. And she might say something about Zeus.
to collect. Do not fear your father's cruel legions, cousin. Their lives are long since forfeit, and they cannot stand against one of your birthright, nor against my power. Ah, oh, she didn't even give me a divine dash. Divine protection. So I wonder, the upgrade for the thing in the administrative chamber to reunite Nyx and Chaos, it was like a really specific number. It was like 3,142. I wonder if that has some sort of meaning. Alright, alright. So we've we got Hermes's keepsake fully upgraded, so that means we can start trying to unlock his heart. I do like the rail. I think the blade is better for finishing enemies quicker. But the rail is how I got through the underworld the first time. That was the only weapon before I had all my upgrades and I really got good at the game. That was the only way I could get through the underworld. I mean, it's. I think it. It's good for you know, people who don't know the game very well yet because it's, it's a range weapon. You can just stay away from people and just damage them. But the blade is definitely better for finishing people off very quickly. Lerny, hiss once if you think you're going to lose. That's why I always beat Thanatos with the blade, but I don't beat him with the, the rail. But the blade is the very first weapon you get, and it's funny because I was like, I don't like the blade at first, but that was just before I really understood how to play the game. green heads. No, you have three. Oh, that's a lot. I guess I don't know what I'm gonna get if I get out of the underworld with this bounty. I'll take that. 
the pack of punishment. I mean, maybe I'll get more. Just as we were finished. Oh, it hasn't been. Hasn't been leveled up. Enough of this place. Got it. Here is where Much nicer you get a, re a reward of Ambrosia from Theseus and. And Asterius. But it's just, it's still just one. Rebecca, how was your Saturday? Hey, Ricardo. Oh, that was pretty good. How was yours? Did some shopping. Mm, guess I'll get darkness. So... I don't want to scare anybody, but I did have a little bit of a scary moment earlier today. So there was a shooting at these outlet malls near me, and I went there to go return something. And I got there right after it happened. Like, I didn't know what was going on. Like I got there and there was all like there were like a, a few police cars and fire trucks around, but I didn't know what happened. Like I thought like maybe somebody had a medical emergency or something. And I got into one of the exits like right before the police started like closing exits off. Oh, Patroclus, yes. And then I saw like a police officer with like an assault rifle run by. And I was like, oh my god, what is going on? And then I saw, I also saw like some groups of people like running for the exits. And I was like, uh, I heard of the Dallas small shooting earlier. That was scary. That, that was it. That was it, Mel Duster. That's the one I was talking about. I got there right after it happened. OMG, I'm glad you got there after that happened. No, seriously, though. Is it the first time you have been close to an event like that? Yes. And it is so different, like actually being there it's like crazy i mean i wasn't and i wasn't even actually there when it happened but i got there right after it right so i saw a police officer with like a, an assault rifle like run by and then i saw these groups of people like running for the exit i was like oh my god what is going on and i saw like um groups of people like right at the entrance where i came in there were people just like standing around and then um some other people started coming in because this is before they closed it off so some other people were like coming in and driving by and they were asking the the people standing around like what happened and they told them like there was an there's an active shooter here and i was like okay well um i'm gonna get out of here that is my cue to leave so i left but it was really hard to get out because there was so much traffic because the police started closing off the entrances and pe but people didn't know yet that there was a shooter there so they were still trying to get in 
So there was like so much traffic with people trying to get in and out. And people were leaving too. Like as soon as they heard that there was a shooter, they were leaving. So I had a really hard time getting out because there was so much traffic. And then as soon as I left, somebody took my parking spot because like they didn't know yet that there, there was a shooter there. But luckily, like I came in on the other side of where it happened. So I saw this police car like way off in the distance. And then the police officer was holding the assault rifle that I saw run by. He like ran off to where that car was, that police car was in the distance. And so it, so, okay, so let me show you this article. Okay, so. If you can see that, it says at the bottom that shots started at 3.36 p.m. You know what time I got there? Like four. And the only reason I was even there so late was because I decided to take a nap before I, I left. And I was actually gonna go earlier, but I decided to take a nap. But if I hadn't taken a nap, I would have been there when it happened. Okay, that was a heck of a Saturday. I know, right? I know, you 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 came in here, Ricardo, and you were like, Rebecca, how was your Saturday? And I was just like, oh yeah, it was pretty good. It was okay. <laughs> So then I went, I, I, but I mean, I, you know, I wasn't there when it happened. So like everything had already happened because the police was, were already responding. So I got there like right in the aftermath. And then I was like, okay, I gotta get out of here. And then I, like, I went across the street to some other like shopping area and they had already heard about it too. And there were some people over there. Um, but the police, you know, they issued a statement later and they were like, please stay away from this area. I've meant to ask you something, stranger. Would you mind doing me a favor, please? If it happens to come up along your path. Suppose I ought to tell it to you first, prior to asking a response. No, of course, sir. What is it? What's on your mind? If I know my Achilles, then he's being rather guarded when it comes to this predicament we're in. How can somebody be so brash, yet hate to take unnecessary risks? Just let him know I said to risk it all. Risk it all? Risk what all? He wants what's best for you. He wouldn't want anything to happen. It's already long since happened. I dare say that right now, provided what you said is true, then... It appears we've more to gain than lose. Isn't fear for the weak? Uh, okay. Thanks a lot. I think that means then I can talk to Achilles and... And the same thing with Sisyphus and Orpheus and Eurydice, I can find the contract and release it. So, but yeah, that was my Saturday. How was yours? But like, I see, I honestly, like I, I had no idea anything that serious had happened because when I got there, there was only like a few police cars and like maybe one fire truck there. But then by the time I left, there were like a ton more police cars and fire trucks showing up. Sometimes I think the stuff is plentiful up here, but you are positively swimming in it, man. Hmm. Maybe we're getting closer to unlocking Dionysus. When I was little, we used to eat at a McDonald's restaurant located at my city's port. If it stands 
a high ground and there are big glass walls with tables near it so you can watch the ship sailing. Me and my family love to sit on those tables as that was a pretty cool view. We were supposed to go there for lunch one, one Saturday, but we got a surprise visit earlier in the morning. Oh boy. Given what we just talked about, I'm afraid of where the story is going. Although that does sound like a really cool McDonald's. to use my altars. Faded Authority, whatever they're called. Not sure why they're called Faded Authority anyway. Next. That visit leaved around 2 p.m. So after she left, we decided to go there. Suddenly, as we were ready to leave, breaking news struck. A bomb had been detonated inside that restaurant at 1.30 p.m. Wow! At the explosive artifact that set, set it in one of the tables we also always used to sit in. So yeah, that earlier visit we received pretty much saved our lives. Oh my god, Ricardo, that is so scary. Well, I'm really glad that you got that surprise visit. But yeah, isn't it crazy how like, like I just, I took a nap. I took a nap and if I hadn't, I would have been there at the shooting when it happened. If you hadn't gotten that surprise visit, you would have been there when the bomb went off. Like, it's just, I mean, it's insane. And people died in the shooting too, like, I mean, I heard, I mean, we still don't have a completely confirmed number yet because it's still pretty early, it just happened. But as far as I'm aware, like eight people died at least so far. Say though, I think I would have been okay even if I was there when it happened because the store I was going to go to is on the other side of the outlets of where it happened. So that's why when I came in, um, like I saw this police car and it was like all the way on the other side of the outlets. And then some uh, girl like was saying it was telling somebody else standing around that they they had closed off like that entire side on the other side but the side that we were all, were on was still open hey looking like you're getting some good use out of that fancy plume of yours keep going like that maybe someday you'll be half as quick as me oh yes he unlocked 
Wait, but why does he have... Why does he have two? Why does he have two and everybody else has one? So, I mean, eventually I think they closed off the entire air. I would expect that they did. Anyway. Tidying up a bit. It's sad to hear stuff like that because we all know they were just normal people doing their everyday routines. Exactly! Like, you don't think you're ever gonna get shot at, like, just going out to shop. Like, when I decided I was gonna go out to the outlets today, I certainly did not think, like, well, yeah, but what if I get shot? You again? You face the champion and me. Ready yourself. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have been caught in that exact part, but the already scary experience would have been even more bad. In moments like that, the violent sound plus a hysteria and screaming. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Like, I would not have wanted to be there anyway. But at the very least, I, I mean, even if I was there, at the very least, I think I would have been, like, okay physically. But I mean, it must have been really scary either way, like, just, I mean, just seeing that police officer go by with an assault rifle, like, it was, that was really scary, like, just seeing it in real life is really scary. It is just not the same. It's like, have you, have you guys ever shot a gun? Because, like, I always thought that would be cool. Because, you know, on TV and, and movies, they make it look really cool. But have you ever, like, actually gone to sh shot a gun? Because, like, when I actually shot a gun, like, went to hold a gun for the first time, a real gun, I was way too scared. I was like, no, 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 this is dangerous. Like, this could kill somebody. Yes, another Ambrosia. 450 gems? Jesus. Wow, Rebecca, hordes are so easy. Oh, yeah. All the things can mentally scar anybody. I've never lived anything like that directly, but back in 2019, I almost got hit by a car, and every now and then do I get awful feelings about it. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, Ricardo. Like a gut pain just thinking about that moment and how close I was and getting seriously injured. I've only shot a paintball gun. Does that count? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, that that does, that can hurt people, but I don't think it can kill people. Can it? Go with that one. All right, we are going to go to the Temple of Sticks this time. 
because I don't know what the reward is for getting out of the underworld. I've never... I don't think I've ever gotten out of the underworld with a blade on a pack of punishment. That's a lot of coin. In my country, getting guns isn't that easy. People who do get them do it through unofficial channels, mostly run by criminal organizations. Mm. Yeah, the the U.S. is pretty, especially in Texas. I, I mean, I don't know if I would say it's like easy, but it does seem to be easier than other countries. The Story Hordes missions prepared me for regular hordes. Nice. And Texas, I think they... Oh, I have... I still have seven altars? Wow. I mean, pay more attention to that. The US, I think... Or Texas, I think, um, also... I think they relaxed their gun laws, even. Once in 2021, I did hear a gunshot fired between police officers and robbers on the run. It happened like 40 minutes, 40 meters from where I'm standing, and the sound isn't cool at all like in games or movies. Right. Yeah, it's like, it's totally different in real life. Tasty. I mean, it's just, it's just like so much more s s scary. Like, you think... You think you'll be able to handle it, you think it's like cool, but then you actually get to that situation and you're just like, oh no, like this is this is scary, like this is this gonna kill somebody. But it's super heavy and violent, yeah. That's one of the layers. Artemis. I don't know what it is about you, Zagreus, but I feel like I can be me with you, you know? Maybe it's that you don't constantly talk over me like everybody else, besides Callisto and the nymphs, I guess. Not that I can even hear you, but you know what I mean, right? Ah, we got Artemis unlocked. Look at look at us. So we got Artemis unlocked, Hermes unlocked. We need Dionysus and Aphrodite and Zeus. Dem Demeter I know will not unlock until after the epilogue, which we are still working on getting. Here goes. So, since this is a Dionysus chamber, we could try to get his heart up come off. Really? Don't know if you played this, but there's a game called Spec Ops. The line that is about a special army team getting stuck in a foreign civil war. I have heard of it, but I have not played it. Tasty, sort of. The game does make an effort to make the crossfire fires feel heavy and impactful, not only for you, but also for the main characters, as the more you advance, the more violent they become. Oh, I don't know if that sounds fun. <laughs> Because, like, the whole purpose of games is that they're not, like, real, right? Like, like in real life, I'm not going around the underworld killing a bunch of people. Found it already. Something for Cerberus. Olympus, I accept this message. Mm. I'll 
about another. No. All right, we're gonna have to go with Dionysus and try and get his heart unlocked. See if we can trigger a conversation this time. Really? Well, that wasn't worth it because you're not going to talk to me anymore. I'll pay for that. Persuades the underworld's ferocious guardian to move aside. Like doing melee kills in the beginning is like you just get your knife out and then in quick late game the character gets so sick he does the melee kills by hitting the enemy's head with his rifle while shouting like a maniac. It does become disturbing but the game does that on purpose as that is what a person who's always exposed to that kind of violence could become in time. Mm. I mean honestly I I can really appreciate that. It just doesn't, it just sounds like, you know, not something you would want to play because games are supposed to be fun. But I, I do appreciate that they wanted to portray it realistically. You're looking very stable. I think that does give people a good reality check. I shall give you no quarter, boy. Although I doubt that you expected otherwise. I don't think I'm gonna win this. Do you feel your blood beginning to Yeah, I'm like already dead. Not yet persuaded to go back, I see. Well, I just wanted to see what the what? Why did he do so much damage? I guess because he's Hades. Is still locked. Achilles isn't there. The old administrative chamber there. Should check that stack of contracts back there. Amongst the parchment records of the dead and punished are the sealed documents known as the Knave King sentence, forcing said king to endlessly toil with a boulder till the end of time. I'll just patch this through to the house contractor then. Off the line narrative is brilliant to say the least. 
It's one of my favorite games of all time due to that. It really knows how to take advantage of the fact that it is a video game. Nice. I mean, it's. I mean, it does sound very interesting to play. Just like, not like Severus. fun, but not. I mean, not all games are like fun. We have four gems. We have eleven gems. In the name of Hades, I hereby release Sisyphus from the terms of his pact. Hey, Orpheus, you're back. How was your trip? I hope it was all right. It was more than all right, my friend. Why, it was positively inspirational. But I've returned as promised to this house. My love is there, whilst my responsibilities are here. You sound despondent again, mate. You must wish you were there right now. I'm sorry you had to come all the way back. Oh, on the contrary, Zacharias. It dawned upon me that having some distance between my responsibilities and my domestic life, why? It is not so bad. Besides, Charon makes travel to and fro quite simple for me, really. Great to hear it. A I can only imagine. Um, did this entry update? For if he cannot, if someone who once had such fiery resolve could be brought so low, become so utterly resigned in death, what hope do any of us have? The consolation of eternity is known we can we all can solve our problems given enough time and effort, but the terror of it is knowing we cannot escape those problems either. So I think giving Orpheus neck or ambrosia. I think we'll I think it's just gives me more lines from him. I don't think it's actually going to do anything to advance anything like the epilogue. Hold, child. I have a message for you from my daughters themselves concerning the blade of the underworld in your possession. Wait, you mean the fates? And Stygius? I'm honored that they would have taken any notice of me. What is it that they want for me to know? They wish for me to impart to you these words so that your blade, in turn, may hear them uttered from your lips. I see your kingly pardon from a prison of stone. Repeat them and remember. What? I see your kingly pardon from a prison of stone. This must be for one of the weapon's hidden forms. Please tell your daughters I am very grateful, Nyx. I shall, child. Although I'm certain they already know. Though whether they are aiding you or this is simply what must come to pass, I cannot say. What? So the blade has another so form? Because it's, it's already got like a secret form. Now it's got another one? I'm not even remotely interested in chatting with these Agrias. Wow. See, Meg is really rude. Dinner, maybe? Pleasure doing business. What's in stock? Fair and square. I'll take it. Oh, I could have gotten, I could have done 10 nectar for an ambrosia. So I have 10 for a diamond. Ugh. Should check the garden. This garden may not have all the varieties available up on the surface. Though it's coming along rather nicely, I should say. And it smells fresh, too. It was something I was never meant to see. One day, or perhaps night, I was guarding the master's hall when he threw open his private chamber doors in a fury. Then I saw her, a splendid portrait I have longed to see again since. What of the master, then? Okay, so... I've done all my conversations with Persephone, and I've maxed out her relationship. The fated list of mine and prophecies. The Holy Leash. The Stygian blade shall someday rise from the underworld in a form it shall assume again in the hands of a mighty king whose tale is yet to be spun. Okay, let's go see what that's about. They always come back. This looks like a shoulder to cry on to you, boy. Stygius, I see your kingly pardon from a prison of stone. A future aspect. What sort of name is Arthur? Arthur? <laughs> Holy Excalibur! 
Alternate moveset. Heavy attack special creates a defensive aura that slows foes. You have Holy Excalibur and 50 to your life total. Ooh. Peace and destruction await a kingdom governed by the rule of might. Okay, so I don't need to equip Artemis's or Hermes's keepsake anymore. I guess we'll equip Zeus. Grant me the aspect of Arthur. Wow, that's a nifty sword. Wow. wow that's got a nice little kicking. Whoa! Look at that! Press Y to create hallowed ground. What does that do though? Yeah. Uh. Alright, back to work. Okay, well that's cool. Alright, well we'll have to continue those runs next time. Probably tomorrow night. Uh, I mean, we still haven't gotten the epilogue, but we did actually make a lot of progress in the relationships, so we were able to get Artemis and Hermes's hearts to unlock. So we, we need Zeus and Dionysus and Aphrodite, but Afro for Aphrodite, I think you have to um, romance a character. And then we are saving up for enough darkness to get Nyx and Chaos reunited. everybody yeah where is everybody okay so eldest sigil restoration okay so 3142 darkness this is what i was talking about earlier like this is such a weird specific number like i don't know why i mean i'm sure they must have had a reason for it i'll look it up okay so achilles is not here but i'm pretty sure that the next time that i talk to him we'll get the contract to um or actually, I don't know exactly know what the pact was. Like, I know Achilles made some kind of deal with Hades where Patroclus would get to stay in Elysium, but then I'm not sure what the negative part was. I guess that they couldn't talk to each other. Yeah, I think that was I think like Achilles, Achilles couldn't see or speak to Patroclus, but Patroclus would get to stay in Elysium and then Achilles had to serve the house of Hades something like that but that's okay so i got sisyphus's contract release i've got Eur eurydice and orpheus so the last one is patroclus and achilles and then i have to obviously get the epilogue um okay and i oh i have to get thanatos's thanatos is the only one i have who I don't have the heart lock. I've not gotten to the heart lock yet. I mean, he hardly ever shows up. Okay, so, well, we did make a lot of progress tonight, actually. And it's actually getting more interesting now that I'm unlocking some more relationships. So, probably tomorrow night um, I'll be on again. I will try to, well, I'll try to stream a little bit earlier. I have a couple of things I need to do tomorrow, but hopefully I can be on tomorrow earlier, a little bit earlier. And I also still need to work on a review video, but hopefully I'll get that done sometime this week before I play Zelda. So I'm really going to try to get to the epilogue before Wednesday and then take Wednesday to work on the review video, release it Thursday, and then I can play Zelda on Friday. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here, hanging out tonight. 
I appreciate it. Please stay safe out there. If you heard my story about um, the shooting today, that was that was pretty scary. But luckily, I'm fine. Like I wasn't even there when it happened. I got there after it happened. But please stay safe. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video or stream. Bye.